Our HealthCast today, the National Institutes of Health is now launching a database to track neurological symptoms associated with COVID-19, hoping to gain some greater understanding about this virus and its impact on the brain, the spinal cord, nerves, and your muscles. I think this is a wonderful idea. It's very important because we see patients all the time uh, who have COVID. Some of them uh, go through the uh, disease process easily, and some of them uh, end up in the intensive care unit, but a lot of them end up having uh, symptoms uh, ranging all the way from delirium uh, to stroke, which is what I treat, uh, to other symptoms that are a little uh, more subtle like anxiety or depression or fatigue. And we see these patients, but we don't really know how to put it all together because uh, we don't have a, a large sample. And so now they're going to get that data they need so much. That's Dr. Michael Obzut, who's a neurologist with the Cleveland Clinic Weston, saying a nationwide, even worldwide database to track the neurological effects of COVID-19 can really open the door to better treatment options for these patients in the future. And while pregnant women appear to produce a robust antibody response to the COVID-19, a recent study found that their babies may not benefit as much as we had hoped or expected. An analysis by the researchers at Emory University found that while COVID neutralizing activity, which measures the potency of antibody response, was found in 94% of pregnant women with COVID, only 25% of the cord blood samples show that same kind of activity. So researchers were surprised by those findings because antibody transfer rates are higher with other viral infections. The study investigators are now expanding their protocols to include vaccinated pregnant patients as well.